Hey, this is Joe at 718 Cyclery and Outdoors here in Brooklyn, New York, coming to you today to talk about what I call the dark months or the cold months. Uh, traditionally, the way I always felt about the seasonal um, cycles that we see in the bike industry here in the Northeast of the US, certainly it gets cold in the winter and it gets hot in the summer, and we have spring and fall also, so it's nice that we have four seasons. Um, what I always thought was November, December, January, and February. In my mind, those four months, which are essentially a third of the year, are the months where you know things are different, things are slower, um, people's buying habits are different, people's riding habits are different. So traditionally, it was always about getting through those four months and preparing enough in the other eight months so those four months don't hurt as bad. And again, this is our 14th season going through this, so you start to see patterns. And what I've started to notice little by little is that you know, November and December, you know, still stays rather busy. You have people buying gifts for the holidays, people still riding, people still into it. And January and February is really when it, it kind of knocks off now. So I'm starting to almost psychologically think about it in terms of those two months, those January and February in terms of the really slower times. Um, and some of the things that we do during those slow times, certainly inventory, paperwork, creating web content, um, but also just kind of doing what it is that we do. You know, I don't like to go into evasive action or have huge sales or, you know, 50% off everything all the time, you know, free labor for this or that. I like to really just stick to my guns. Um, not a great term. Stick to the methods that we use and just kind of keep plowing through because in the end, you know, the year kind of, it kind of evens out and balances out. So I don't want to have like different hours. I don't want to have things that kind of stop and start the business from a customer's point of view. I just want to keep going nice and straight, uh, slow and steady. Um, so that's what we do. We stay open uh, the same amount year round. We um, uh, you know, try to do the same thing in terms of bike builds. You know, We're doing camping trips in January and February for the first time this year. So certainly that helps a lot in terms of you know, being able to talk about it and promote it and take pictures and post on Instagram and all those kinds of things you know, to kind of stay you know, kind of in people's minds and kind of, you know, legit during January and February. But um, it is a time to kind of get some things done, time to get ready for the season, which is going to start, you know, uh, March or so and kind of move on from there. So again, uh, the cold months certainly in the Northeast is, a, is, is real. It's a real thing. Uh, some shops kind of deal with it um, by kind of ramping down and kind of understanding that that's the best way for them to do it. And for us, it's always been about just being like, slow and steady and just coming in every day and doing what it is that we do. Anyway, thanks for watching this little video and stay warm.